my channel I hope you all have a wonderful day so I thought I would start the vlog off on the floor because usually I'm vlogging up high and you can never really see the dogs so I thought you know why not start the vlog on the floor so you can see him a bit more oh Mario's just come in from the garden so he's probably a bit all like wet oh you were wet what have you been doing in the garden what have you been doing we've got Grace currently trying to clean me Rose is over there getting licked by Mario now and Molly's just sitting behind the camera because she wants to come over to me but Grace has been a bit moody today so she don't dare come over so I'm gonna try and like scooch over to her and hopefully Grace won't bash her out of the way or scare her off so let's see if this will work thanks Mario we've got a nice view of your bum not the kind of view I wanted for you guys to see of the pugs look there's little Molmols. Molly come over here come on should we oh you the only thing is when i vlog close to the floor you can see how furry the carpet is in here oh what is this oh my goodness what is that okay so i don't know what that was on the floor but whatever it was we've got rid of it now but it looked pretty gross but yeah so as you can probably see i've just woken up and like my hair is a mess but um, yeah, Mickey went away to stay with his friends yesterday and he's not back until like Sunday. So I was home alone last night and I don't really mind being home alone but sometimes I, I do get like a bit like nervous just because we live out in the middle of nowhere. So that meant last night while Mickey was not here I could have like my favourite fish pie that I absolutely love but Mickey's not like a fan of. So I usually just have fish pie when he's not here just because I don't bother cooking it for myself and something for him. It's just easier just to cook food that we both like. So while he's not here, I like to have fish pie. Yeah, today I thought I would show you some of my like makeup collection because I actually organised my bedroom the other day. I ordered one of them like IKEA makeup storage shelves or like drawers but for some reason it's been delayed and it's just really annoying so I just rang up and cancelled it and got my money back and I'll show you what I decided to use as my makeup storage instead which saved me a lot of money and also if you guys are looking for some makeup storage this will save you a lot of money than getting the you know the Instagram Ikea makeup drawers that everyone has I've got you a much cheaper version and to be honest I think you get much more room in it too so let's take you upstairs guys and then you can have a look at my makeup and my makeup storage so this is my dressing room like my beauty room kind of like a massive like walk-in wardrobe really um I have done like a tour of this room already and if you haven't seen it then I will link it above but yeah this is what it looks like now it does look slightly different obviously from that room tour that I done earlier but um obviously it's because I've had a bit of a declutter I also have got rid of so many clothes and it looks like I've got so much left but honestly I have got rid of so many clothes shoes bags does my camera want to focus on my face there we go and I've put it all on Depop which I will link below so if you want to go and check out my Depop account you can I've discounted quite a lot of stuff that's already on there there isn't that much on there compared to what I literally have in our spare wardrobe and in our other spare room there's like a rail in there full of clothes I just need to pay someone I don't know like 50 pound just to take photos of everything and put it all on Depop for me but everything I sell on Depop and I feel like how many times have I just said Depop now but yeah everything I sell on there I'm going to put that money back into like a little fund where I can then invest that money and buy some really good giveaways for you guys and then half of that I will give to charity. There is some items which are really nice. I've got some really nice jumpers and coats that I'm not going to be selling. I'm actually going to put them in little individual like bags and I'm going to give it to a like a homeless charity for like women because obviously at the moment they're living on the streets. It's really cold outside and yeah some of these coats I just would rather give straight to them who like need it. But anyway let's get on to like my makeup haul this is like this isn't like actually a um like dressing table this actually just is like a little sideboard like me and mickey used to have a furniture company and that's some of the things that we used to sell and yeah obviously we don't have that company anymore we now make shepherd's huts so yeah I've just turned it into like a little vanity kind of counter but inside these drawers I just have like 
all of my like hair products so in here i've got like creams body creams and then i've got often me my obviously my deodorant these are like my hair stuff and then in here these are more like kind of going out hair products so this is what i use to like style my hair so you've got like bed head in there then obviously you've got the good old dry shampoo but this is cherry scented and oh my goodness it smells lush also i need to show you this i need to try and put my camera down because my arm I need to try and position it though so you can still see me there we go my arm is just really like feels bruised and achy for where i had that tattoo done the other day um yeah this shampoo like i use shampoo like shampoo i use hairspray like to style my hair quite a lot if i'm like you know doing something special with it like curling it but i always feel like um hairspray just smells disgusting but this one by lee stafford is a coco loco one and it's a coconut scented one oh it smells it smells exactly like coconut i really do like it and they also do this one is the genius lotion and it's like blow and blow and go blow and go but yeah um for stress dry for stress free dry it's because their lettering is all like in caps and then lower caps so it's really hard to like read it confuses you so yeah that's what's in all of these drawers if i can close them the other day i didn't put one of the bottles in properly so when i was trying to open the drawer it wouldn't open and mickey was like what are you doing up there and i'm like my hairspray stuck but yeah on top of my <gasps> nearly fell off my chair it's probably because it's like a three pound like stool from ikea and then i've just like put this like fluffy cushion on and it just you have to keep tying it like every day it just just gets so loose but on here we just have this little kind of like oh you can see me in the mirror at the same time it just looks hideous we've got this like little drawer thing here this was 4.99 from b&m but i used to have my eyeshadows in there i now have all my eyeshadow brushes just because they fit in there quite nicely then in the top one we have all the mini like travel brushes most of these like eyeshadow brushes and then on top i have these little jars which are from matalan i got these ages ago but you can pick them up in any kind of like the bargain shops and they, i think they were only like 50p and then i've just got all my like everyday makeup brushes in there and here this tray i got this from argos for 14.99 but you can pack pack you can pick these up off ebay really really cheap and also from like bnm this came from primark it's just like my cotton bud holder that i used to like do my makeup this was a pound from primark and yeah this is just like my tray with all my everyday makeup because i like to sit on the floor down there and prop up my mirror in the drawer and then i just like to take this on the floor but it's got all my everyday makeup okay let's focus back in there we go also someone asked me on one of my videos what do i use as my inner corner eye so i like to use this um highlighting like palette and look all the hair stuck to this but um yeah this is like a anastasia dupe but this is by the brand miss rose i think you can pick this up off ebay amazon and it's the ultimate glow kit six glow palette and yeah this is the one that i use on my inner con eye which is forever lit i absolutely love that it's so pigmented like look at it look how shimmery it is and oh, my my cameras just don't want to focus it on my finger it's just not focusing in you can kind of see what it looks like but yeah it's proper proper shimmery this is what i really wanted to show you and instead of getting that ikea like drawer storage i thought i would just use my storage drawers that i have already so these actually come from ikea this is their five drawer and this was 45 pounds they do have a smaller one for like 30 pound but i think this one is just like the perfect size and it, yeah it was only 45 pound but i did have like underwear and socks and like sportswear stuff and a drawer full of bikinis it's in all my knickers and socks and all my other like little kind of like knickknacks i don't like wear all the time i've put inside hair and i bought this um like hanging wardrobe storage thing this was like eight pound from argos so it's got my pajamas in like my bras and like my little vest tops and things like that and all my knickers and socks i've decided to hung or hang inside this like shoe sort like organizer which was five pound from argos so i've put all my makeup in these drawers now i feel like we should start at the top i still need to reorganize like my lipsticks and stuff better 
but um, this is the best I can do for now. So all these little trays were like 50p from the range, which I thought was really good. And then these little like lipstick individual holders, which also can hold like nail varnishes. These were from like Poundland, obviously for a pound each. And yeah, I've just got all my lipsticks in here. And then over in like this tray here, we have like all my like tubes of like lip glosses. That one's in the wrong one. So yeah, these are like all my squeezy tubes of like lip glosses. What I like about it is when I organise and when I've like got them all like laid out properly, these can like go inside one another. These baskets nicely and still shut, which is quite good. So in here we've just got all like my really glittery like metallic-y lip glosses. Then we've got like all my nudes and some more nude -y ones. But I need to sort them out from like nude like gloss to like nude mattes. And then we have like all the bright oranges and browns and reds. And then in this one we just have some like random like little lipsticks, lipstick pencils and things like that. So yeah, this is all my lipsticks and lip glosses. As you can see, absolutely love my lip glosses. Then in the next drawer, we have all of my blushes. So we've got all the blushes in there. Then in this one, we have all of my bronzers. And then we have like all my highlighters, like, you know, the liquid formed ones and like, you know, the little sticks and stuff. And then in each like um, little tray, there is like random brushes, but that's because these are the ones I don't like use all the time. But obviously this is like a highlighting brush. And then in here, we just have all my highlighters. Oh, I love my highlighters. And like I said, they're so, so good for inner corner eye and eyeshadows too. Then this, this drawer, is a bit more of like a bit it looks a bit more like messy but it is actually organized so with all my setting sprays and like makeup cleaning sprays hair like all my kind of like lotions and things and primers and we've got like my teeth whitener my eyebrow dye kit some nail varnishes that i like to use i did have like three of these trays full of nail varnishes but to be honest i've just kept like all my barrier ones and like the neutral ones i like then we have some more like random like eyeshadow um eyeshadows nail varnishes that won't fit in the tray so i've just put them in there for now and then we've got all like my contour kits then we have all like my um concealers my foundations some cotton buds and we've got like this bare minerals i think it is bare minerals i can't remember no in it's smashbox like foundation that my sister gave me it's actually really good and i absolutely love this this is what my sister got me and it's a Too faced cocoa contour oh this is so good i absolutely love this the one that i basically and it's so magnetic I can't open it the one that i love the most is this one here and this is really good for like highlighting underneath your eye i absolutely love that like i wish they did that one on its own then in here we just have like all my eye products we've got all my mascaras and like eyebrow stuff and this is like the bomb this stuff this is like a clear eyebrow gel and this is really good for setting your eyebrows and it's like one pound from primark and i grabbed this the other day because they haven't had any in for like ages but i the one i bought last i've had it for like i don't know a good like eight months and it's still going like still got loads left in i absolutely love that stuff i should have grabbed more than one really and then underneath we just have like all my eyeliners as you can see i really love bright colored eyeliners and then what is this that shouldn't be in there neither should that take them out <gasps> not very good with this organization thing i did like dump oh and that shouldn't be in there look oh that shouldn't be in there but yeah that's not really in there either or shouldn't yeah that should go in there but yeah this is all my eyeliners and then we just got like a little headband i like to put on to keep like my hair out of my face when i'm doing my makeup then we just got like my makeup wipes you guys know that i love these like makeup wipes from poundland two packs for a pound and you get like 30 wipes in each pack 60 wipes for one pound you can't beat that then we've got all my eyelashes and then my hashtag lash addict case that i got from primax this is really good if you go and traveling or going for like a night out somewhere and you're staying over in a hotel you can keep all your eyelashes in there so they're all safe then we just got all like all my powders and you know things like that and then this is what i use for like loose powder underneath my eye which as you can see needs to be washed 
ignore that and then moving on to my favorite drawers of all and these are all my eyeshadows and this is where they should go in there because they're actually eyeshadows so here we've got like all my loose eyeshadows there's a lot of nyx and a lot of really 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 old number seven eyeshadows like these are so old they're probably about like no five six probably about eight years old because i had these when i was living at home still with my mum so yeah they're old but i've kept them i'm sure they're not gonna like affect my eyes in any way probably will but you know i don't know i'll just have to take the risk then in here we have like all of my obsession palettes so i've just picked up the new one which is be crazy and it's like really nice vibrant colors i can't wait to try that and then i also picked up the new like jordan palette and i honestly can't wait to try that out like the colors are insane in there then we have like my palettes where you make your own so i got these off the revolution website so the palette actually was like two pound in the sale then all the individual like eye um eyeshadows were like a pound but you can actually get them now and then for like 60p when they have like their mega sales but yeah i haven't really organized these properly because i've got three of them haven't organized them like into proper like colors yet i've just put dumped them all in their cases and then we just have like their unicorn one which was halloween and then another halloween one then i have all of their normal kind of like eyeshadow palettes which like are all five pounds each absolutely love them i absolutely love makeup revolution as you can tell so these are a couple of their like limited edition ones from their heart chocolate box and then i've got all of my favorite like um chocolate palettes i've got like my nude one which i love the violet one the new cranberries and chocolate one which i'm going to do a look on soon then we have the sweet peach not the sweet peach it is actually like their chocolate and peaches but it's like the two-faced dupe then we've got the lemon drizzle drizzle lemon drizzle macaroons cotton candy and galactic and i'm gonna like I'm gonna admit something now. I actually haven't used that one, that one, that one, that one yet. I need to use them, but I just absolutely love the colours and I just grabbed them as soon as they were released. Then over here we have all my Revolution Pro eyeshadow palettes and I absolutely love these. I'm gonna admit as well, I haven't used any of these. I think I might have used like a couple. That one, I can't wait to try that. And this one, look at these. <gasps> absolutely love them. And this one that pink that pink is lovely and then this one i think you can create some really nice blue looks with this one like blue and like smoky colors oh i love that and then this is just if i can get it out this is their their like old style like makeup revolution from freedom like make your own palette but i picked this one up because this was only like two pound the palette instead of buying their like proper one that goes with these pans just because that one was like from 10 pounds so i'd rather spend two pound on one then i've got like all my individual like eyeshadows in here so i've got quite a few in there at the moment still can fit a lot more in but yeah these are some of the colors i absolutely loved the only thing i was disappointed with this like galaxy one is that one and that one i think literally look pretty much the same don't it so when it arrived i was really gutted about that I then have like my imagination like palette which to be honest i think needs to go in that drawer because that's more of like a highlight and contour and then these are like all of my um collab ones with like not my personally my collab but the collab ones that people have done with like revolution so i've got my imogen my kami one as you can see i haven't even opened that up one opened that one up yet i can't even speak today my sophie one then my kiss you one kiss you kiss you and then we have all of the I Heart Revolution ones. So we've got like the dragon, the angel, the mermaid and the unicorn. Then we've got their new glitter and shake ones. And then some of their little mini palettes. Just because I did like the big ones. But some of the colours in the big versions I wouldn't have used. So I went for the little ones because I know that I'll use all the colours in these ones. They're like the colours that I wanted so yeah i picked up the mini ones instead seeing as they were only like six pounds then in the last drawer before this video is like extra extra long we just have in here loads of like random eyeshadow palettes they're not like any kind of special brand or anything they're just random like palettes this one is actually quite nice this is by mua and it's got some really nice like shimmers and mattes in there but really nice bright colors but yeah just loads of random like 
palettes and hair and stuff and like you know all the randomness then we've got all my revolution palettes so we've got things like the 80s one so i picked up the 80s one just because i was born in the 80s the other two i did like the colors in but i know they were quite similar to other palettes i had so i just picked up the 80s like i said because i was born in the 80s and then we just have all the normal kind of like revolution reloaded palettes in here so i've got quite a few of them because they're just they're just always they're all like all four pounds and they're amazing they're so pigmented and i just absolutely love them so i've got quite a few of them i then have a few more like revolution makeup palettes here i have all their like glitter ones so these are like all of their um pressed glitters and oh these are gorgeous oh no oh no i just ripped it but look at them oh i absolutely love them and then we just got have my like you know my little Too Faced collection here which that shouldn't really be there because that's a highlighter so that's going to go in the right drawer we've got a big blusher palette here but the only reason i haven't put that up in the other blusher like section is just because it's massive so we've just got loads of big palettes here and this is like a basically like the what's her name jacqueline hill like dupe and honestly, it's, it's just as good as the Jaclyn Hill one. Then we've got like this rude cosmetic cosmetic one. Then we've got my Beauty Bay palettes. We've got the Going Out Out. And then also we've got the Identity. And I have got another palette coming soon to that collection because Mickey kindly got me it for Christmas because that's what I asked for. And then someone else is going to get me the Slush palette by I think it's September Rose one absolutely love that palette it looks so good so i can't wait for that to arrive then i can add that to my collection and then i just need to get the last kind of like beauty bay palette which i think mickey's got me the evolve one but there's another one i can't remember what it's called but i need to pick that one up but i need to try and save some money because you know it's christmas guys and christmas just you know it drains your bank account but anyway yeah that's all like my makeup storage and you've seen a few of my makeup pieces that i've got i would like to show you more of the bits of makeup i have but this video will just be way too long so maybe i'll do like a part two but as you can see you can see how like you know how i store like all my makeup and then you've seen like a few bits and like yeah all my organization with my makeup so yeah i hope you did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and please excuse me today because i actually realize i'm still in my pajamas as well but yeah you know anyway guys i love you all i'll see you guys tomorrow bye